comes up, and I have a, a parallel circuit set up right now. You can set it up in series or in parallel. When I saw the demo done the first time, they used sponges as the resistors. Cool. They just cut a little sponge and shoved it into the tube. Um, and then I have just vertical open tubes on each side of my resistor. What I did instead is I bought just a very cheap um, ball valve. So it's essentially a variable resistor now rather than a, a constant resistor. Um, I also bought some flow meters, which are not the cheapest things in the world. Um, I think I got these from a, a pet supply company for aquariums. So you can measure the, the current flow here. Um, they are directional, so I had it set up backwards the first time. So, sure. um, so I'm going to plug it in here. And you do have to watch it at first while it fills up to make sure that it doesn't come out of the tops of the pipes here. And once all the air gets out, Okay, so um, right now both my check valves are open, so that's why you see no water here. And, and another thing that, that I didn't bring with me is a little bit of food coloring is nice. You can see the levels. Um, but right now all of my vertical tubes are completely empty because my check valves are completely open. There's no resistance. There's no potential difference. Um, there's a little bit of air in the circuit, though. So I'm going to just slowly, and, and you can see my, my two flow meters here. Um, should be about the same size. You actually do have to be careful. Any little bit of height difference here will come about in, in the potential difference and you'll be able to see difference in, in the, the pipes and in the, the current flow as well. Um, so I'm going to just open this up a little bit here. Close it. Thank you. And close this one a little bit. And try to close them about the same. And you can see that the water builds up on the positive side of my resistors, and it's still zero on my negative side, which returns back to the battery, which is the pump down here. And depending on how large I make the resistance, the potential difference across that resistor will increase, and the current will decrease in that length. Um, and it works beautifully in uh, a series circuit as well. You'll see the two closest to the battery be filled the highest, and then it'll step down about, both well, the resistors are the same, it'll step down halfway, and then the second resistor will step down from halfway down to zero as well. Uh, and you can you know, play with the resistors here, play with the current flow. Um, it does make a little bit of a mess, but you know, it's, it's always a fun thing to do. And, and food coloring will help out a lot, and um, I don't know how well you can back and see, but the water is about here, this resistor is a little bit higher, the water's about here, and our flow meters, this one is, is pretty low on this one, and a little bit higher there. Um, just the, I haven't used these that much and um, calibrated them that well to the pumps and the setup that I had. Um, but fairly cheap and, and a nice visualization for um, voltage, resistance, and current. Any questions? Round of applause. I was wondering about your pump. Is that a fish tank pump or something? Yeah, uh, I think I got it at like Lowe's or Home Depot for the pond. Um, just enough to, you know, that's the most expensive part of it. Um, it was 50 or 60 bucks, something like that, for the pond pump. That's a continuous loop. Yeah, it's a, well, it goes back into the bucket, but it's not a. It's and a, simulating the resistors with the valves? Correct. And the tubes and voltages? Correct. So it's again, it's measuring a potential difference, so you can measure, you know, emphasize that it, it is a difference in, in potential um, rather than just so a you single. Have four resistors in series there, right? I have two resistors in parallel. Yeah, two so I'll put them in these. Okay, I think it would work out. This one's not. Oh. <laughs> okay, so if it comes in here, there's a T valve here. It splits, one loop goes this way, one loop goes this way, it joins back together, a T here, and back to the my bucket on the floor. I think, again, the uh, idea of the pump is really a good one if you're trying to show what a battery is like anyway, which right. is really what it's doing. If you had more rigid verticals, I'm thinking that if you put like a little plastic ball on the top, that would show them the height 
very quickly and easily as yeah. well. Yeah. The other nice thing about the, the non-vertical ones, which you can get into some you know, fluid stuff if you really wanted to, the, the height of the water will stay the same regardless. Right. right. Uh, so as you, you, yeah. you know, bend the pipe in different ways, the, the vertical height of the water stays constant. Yeah, the, the vertical tube with the, the ball is nice as well. Um, I've had a demonstration like this when you show the students that when you make a parallel circuit and then you put another resistor in, that you get increased flow. And I, I said to like biology, like when somebody gets like a, a bypass surgery, that you increase the, uh, you put another resistor in and they don't even take out that old bad tubing in somebody's heart and then they get the blood flow to, and so they get the yeah. I'm just thinking, you, you rearrange this a little bit when you use it when you teach fluid dynamics in IP, right? Yeah. <laughs> you got yeah, two uses Absolutely. out of them. So. And, and I do, I have uh, two setups, not two pumps. If you can, you know, splurge for the two pumps and have identical batteries um, and have an actual series and parallel next to each other, it, it adds that much more effect to it. Um, it only takes a few seconds to switch it from series to parallel, um, but if you can, you know, demonstrate them both at the same time, it, it does you know, amplify the, the visual. So you use an elevated storage tank for capacitors? Kind of ductless. Haven't gone that far, with it, but yeah. I mean, have you noticed a simulated inductor with fluid on it? I don't know. Where did you get the? The black things, what, what do you call it? These guys? Yeah, what are they? They're flow meters. Um, so they just measure the, the flow of water through a pipe. I got them from Drs. Foster and Smith. So right. Okay. That's why. Yep. Do you have other questions? Let's give Jeremy a round of applause.